This little desk was left on the side of the road as garbage. I couldn't just leave it there, right? Someone tried to refinish it with gel stain, which is just a horrible product. The desk itself is small. I'd call it maybe a student desk, but it was well made. I never really knew what to do with it. I even tried to give it away to our neighbors, and I was just about to break it up for the fire pit when I had an idea. Wood is really expensive right now, so maybe I'll just save the solid wood desktop. Sure, I'll remove the top and throw out the rest. Hmm, but the drawers are nice too. I really don't need a desk, but I could always use more storage space. Even this small desk takes up too much room. What about a nightstand? Or a sort of filing cabinet? I'll remove the legs and keep the drawer side for starters, and then just see how it goes from there. Both of these hardwoods used to make this are just so pretty on their own. It always makes me sad when people cover up the grain patterns with paint or even worse, a gel stain. I'll add a polyurethane one-step process to the gel stain and, it, and you just ruin it. You know, how can you combine stain with the final finish and ever hope to see the wood grain? I don't think you can. Each step needs to be separate. Sanding, then staining, and then a clear finish. You know, multiple coats of clear finish with sanding in between. That's what you need to do. The drawers were fairly easy to strip and prepare for stain. But the base itself will need some repairs and modifications to stand alone by itself. knife scores the edge where I want to make the cut. Now hopefully this will keep the circular saw from chipping off little pieces and leave me with a nice smooth finished edge. This looks pretty good and I'll cap off the end grain with a thin veneer of poplar that I cut at my table saw. I also made a plug of poplar to fill a space on the side where the leg supports used to be mounted. As much as I like to showcase the grain patterns in wooden furniture, I am going to cheat a little bit, at least on the sides of the drawer base. My patch doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to use a distressed finish for the sides and the back of this piece. I really don't like this skirt on the front, so 
it has to go. I'll replace it with just a plain piece of scrap poplar. I'll save the original desktop for some project later. It's solid hardwood, so I didn't really want to cut it down. But I have no reservations about using this leftover console top that's covered in a walnut veneer. My table saw came in handy again to make these poplar strips that will cover the outer edges of the new top. I'll glue them on first and then sand them flush with the walnut veneer. Pushing the pieces together and then taking them apart briefly allows air to help activate the glue on both surfaces. After the clamps are removed, the resulting bond should be very, very strong. Final sanding with 220 grit paper means that I'm almost ready to stain. But just out of curiosity, I'll use some mineral spirits to both clean off the dust and to get an idea what this wood might look like with just a clear finish. Okay, wow. I've never worked with walnut before, but it's really beautiful, even without any stain.
I like to build up several thin coats of polyurethane from a can. I'll use a foam brush for these early stages and I'll lightly sand between each coat before at the end I apply the last and final coat with a spray can. So what's going on with these sides? They don't look right, do they? Well, I did stain and coat them with polyurethane, but now I want to make them look old and well-worn. So I'll cover them with a light coat of flat black spray paint. I'm going to remove just enough of the black so that some of the stained wood grain can peek through. The idea is that years of use and handling have removed the paint from areas that get touched the most. It also makes the finish so freaking smooth. It's like butter, man. I tell you, just like butter. I tried these little glass drawer pools. Poles? Poles? It sounds funny when you say it. But they didn't look right. So I went back to the ones that were originally on the desk. After a little bit of sanding and some spray paint and some clear polyurethane, I think these look a whole lot better. So I don't know really what to call this new piece of furniture. It's just a little set of drawers maybe, and it's a combination of styles. The distressed look of the sides and the knobs I think is a nice contrast with the drawers and the top itself which all look brand new. Our house is starting to fill up with various projects made from things that I picked up on garbage nights. So I need to slow that down or maybe stop it all together. This doesn't take up as much room as a desk, but space is definitely at a premium around here. I'll keep it for at least a little while. I kind of like it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.